Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I want to talk to you <clears throat> about these tomato uh, pop-up accelerators. It's a wonderful product. I started using these last summer. In Colorado, we have these ongoing debates whether you should plant your tomatoes in April, November, before Mother's Day, after Mother's Day, or Memorial Day. And in Colorado, our weather is extremely bipolar and don't expect to have the same season currently as you had, uh, I should say, don't expect to have the same season previously for the current season. That's just how varied Colorado's temperatures are. With that said, what I've learned to do is extend my growing season. Most people in Colorado would say it is insane to put your tomato plants out in April, even in early May. However, with the tomato pop-up accelerator, it is possible. Therefore, I had my tomato plants, my pepper plants, and my um, cucumber plants out early inside this tomato pop-up accelerator. And what it does, it basically insulates the air inside. So during the day, I would take the top off or zip it off, and then the heat will accumulate inside the accelerator. When the temperatures go below 50 degrees, or we're gonna have a, 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 cold, or a cool temperature, maybe even in the 40s at night, you hold that temperature in and you zip the top part like this. So now what you have created is kind of like an insulator which holds the heat in and if for some reason you don't get outside in time to take the top off, you're still getting sunlight. Um, on the top part. So this has been an excellent product to extend your growing season specifically for tomato plants, bell pepper plants, and cucumber plants and I just love this product. So it is now early May and I am going to put my tomato plants out. So let's get started. So as you can see I've already dug the hole for my uh, tomato plants. And I started this tomato plant from seed. This is the tomato Baxter bush cherry tomato plant. And I started it in April of 2020. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant this. I do like to add a little fish emulsifier to my bottom of my soil. I've seen some videos that people like to put dead fish at the bottom. My attitude is whatever works for your environment, your location, and if it's producing the results, that's all that matters. And so I mixed up a little bit here, so I'm just gonna pour it right at the bottom, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out just like this. And as you can see, there, it was getting a little root bound, so it was ready to be uh, repotted or planted. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in just like this. Now this is my, my um, compost that was sifted and aged. So it's ready for use this season, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my compost in just like this. And just go ahead and backfill it. So I'm backfilling it with my compost. Then some of the soil that I pulled out, I'll just go ahead and just add more to it on top.
But I want to make sure I get enough of that part of that plant in the soil. Okay, there. So I've already got this one planted and I'm going to go ahead and start on the next one. Same tomato plant. Add the fish emulsifier to the bottom of it. And then backfill it with my compost that has been sifted and aged. Press down to get the, get any, uh, air pockets out. So now I'm going to go ahead and backfill it with a lot of the soil I pulled out. Push down to get the air pockets out. There. I'm going to eventually add my aged wood chips on top. And remember, keep in mind, my wood chips are aged. Uh, often you get debate about wood chips pulling uh, nitrogen out of out of the soil. I have a large pile of wood chips that has been aging for two years and it's a great mix of greens and um, and browns. So now I have my cherry tomato Baxter bush cherry plants in. The next thing I want to do is put my tomato cage on top of it. As you can see, I already have this one in. So I'm going to go ahead and put my tomato cage on this one. Just like this. Okay, now during the day when it's nice and warm, I will take off my tomato accelerator, but in the evenings I would put it back on just like this. And this will allow me to keep my tomato plants warm during the evening hours when the temperature has dropped as well as keeping the heat insulated in the tomato accelerator if the temperature drops low or before below 60 degrees. So for the next week we are going to have temperatures in the 70s and the 80s, and this is great for tomato plants. But unfortunately in Colorado, our nighttime temperatures do dip below 60 degrees. And this is where at times can be difficult to plant your hot weather vegetables little too soon in Colorado because as a northern gardener and dealing with the climate that at times is bipolar, I have learned that extending your vegetable garden is just a matter of just protecting it from the cool temperatures. So this pop-up, tomato pop-up accelerator is perfect. It now is allowing me to plant my tomatoes pretty, pretty early, get the sunlight and the warmth of the sun during the day, and at night, I would put this in. I would just kind of pin it down with these loops as you can see, and keep it secure. So if there's wind, it's fine. Rain can get through it. It also protects us from hail. So all of my Colorado gardeners who gets really frustrated with our hail storms, this is also an excellent way to protect your young plants from hail. Again, it allows you to get the warmth you need during the day, if it's nice outside and you need that um, warm temperature at night, it will also help with that. I would put three of them out for this evening. 
one here, one here. I'll put another tomato cage here. And this is what's allowing me to plant my tomato plants early. If you go to my previous video where I was using this uh, tomato pop accelerator, I planted my tomato plants in late April. And we got snow and we did a, get a cold snap. And I guarantee you, if you look at that video, these tomato plants were not affected at all as a result of this product. So I just wanted to share this to our northern gardeners, those gardeners who said, what's going on with our weather this season is acting a little weird. For those Colorado gardeners who wants to extend their growing season, these tomato pop-up accelerators are excellent. It gives you a, a, a head start extends your growing season and I also did this with my bell peppers in my beer barrel which I will also be showing you a photo of that and those were planted in April and I was using these pop-up accelerators on top of the beer barrel and my tomato plants are already in my beer barrel so just want to give you a, a tip on how to extend your growing season thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button